or say in Tagalog that I love you. Mahal kita! Imagine having two locations, two beautiful spots to call home, worlds apart, and at times still feel like you don't know where to live. Some days it seems so simple. Going to buy land and build a home in Dumaguete, a gift for my daughter so she will have her own special spot to consider a home. Then it sets in you also have a home in Billerin, this amazing gorgeous island that few besides the locals even know about. Our trip was short to this beautiful place, but it was clear. This may also be a home for us. Haven't even mentioned my home, Kentucky, a state here in the USA, born and raised. How much time will I want her to spend here in this state? Will America make a comeback? Will the USA become a symbol again that so many have loved and cherished? I guess that is the adventure we share. It's not easy. Decisions have consequences and can impact a lifetime. These next 48 months will likely be life-changing. Want to join the adventure? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. like to be with the Philippine family. What was it like to meet them for the first time after six years? I got a lot of new subscribers since kind of the last times I've mentioned some of these things and they don't know all the back stuff. Not everybody can go back and watch all your videos. talking about the family. The family is something for a 50 year old man, 51, it's really hard to describe sometimes that at this age you get to be such a part of a Philippine family and knowing how important that it could be. It doesn't have to be important but it could be if the right situations occurred. You know, you, you see each other, you help each other when needed, you look after each other, especially the family I'm wanting because I want my daughter very much involved in their life. That's the ocean! No, this is not an ocean. Did it, do, you know, do you have an imagination? Do you know what your imagination is? That is the ocean. That's the pirate ship. This is not a pirate ship. That's the ocean. That's the pirate ship. Uh, that's, I think that's not a pirate ship. Come here. Get ready. Get in front of me. All right, you ready to start stretching? America's changing. Where I went from last week to where I'm at this week, man, there's a song I've heard a few times this week. Some of my Americans out there will know what the song is without me even having to say it, but we've heard it a few times this week, and I bet you choked up a little bit. I could choke up right now thinking about it. I miss that feeling. I haven't felt this in a long time. It's been years, way before COVID, but uh, to feel good about being an American again. Not that I ever feel bad about it, but you know, a little something extra finally. Uh, this past week, there was a few things to kind of feel that way for. And just like the Philippines, don't go to the Philippines talking about the Philippines negatively too much. Be careful with that. I'm the same way about America. It's like a sister-brother relationship. I might mess up, mess around with my sister and wrestle and she's, you know, I don't have a sister so I'm making this up, but don't mess with my sister mentality. You know, I can do it, but don't you do it. You know, we're going to have a big problem. The Filipinos know you don't come to the Philippines and start talking about the Philippines negatively. Well, let me tell you a little secret. It is the same way in America. I don't care how down I get or how I might sound. Don't be talking about my America. <laughs> I love America, and sometimes it takes a little bit of something, something to get you feeling something. And that song I heard a few times this week, they played it a few. I couldn't stop listening to it. Let's see which one of my guys out there get me that song title back first. I'll respond to it in the comments. When you hear it, man, you don't choke up. Well, you probably don't like America much. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I can't imagine several of my guys out there this week, maybe even girls out there, I don't know. Haven't talked to a whole lot of girls on a regular basis. I got some of you out there writing on the comments. Getting to know a few of you a little bit. Yeah, this past week has been a little interesting here in America. It might change things just a little bit. Not a lot, but it's an interesting time in this country right now. The next four years could be very, very interesting. It might change time patterns between Kentucky and the Philippines. Might decide to push business here a little bit more than I have, because I'll be honest, I'm on cruise control right now. Work hard for a bit, take a break. I'm not trying to conquer any mountains right now. The Philippines is hard enough. Getting three tickets, two, three months at a time in the Philippines. Yeah, it's worth it.
You know, a lot of times when you start off in your relationships, you don't think about how fast time really goes by, you know, you're still getting to know the girl. You know, you got a lot of things to worry about besides worrying about mom and dad's, you know, her mom and dad's situation and everything. And next thing you know, a year goes by, two years goes by, COVID hits, lockdowns hit. A lot of time really went by quick and it's like, oh my God, it's been over five years. I've really never even talked to the family at five year mark. That's my fault. We don't know what to really say. You know, English isn't normal in the family, although they can speak it, but it's still not easy. Five years goes by with someone's daughter, grandchild is around. Are we even going to like each other? Are we going to be comfortable around each other? Now, I wasn't worried about it, but it's still something that you have to think about. That was uh, something I really kind of always wanted. Past relationships, dating a girl with a child. You know, you're never really gonna be the dad in a lot of these instances. You know, how close are you gonna ever be to the child or the, the family situation? So some of those didn't really fit what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for anything at the time, but moving to the Philippines when I did, and then having a baby, meeting the wife's family. You know, that's what I really did always want. I wanted a family. She got younger brothers, younger sisters. I've got a chance to have 30, 40 years, potentially, being a part of somebody's family. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, uh, you know, do things right, you're probably gonna be pretty close to the family. You're probably gonna be a big part of the family. That's what I was really looking for. I'm not young anymore, but there's time to build these great relationships. That's why you gotta keep going back and forth. That's why you can't stop in one place and just settle in. My daughter is a Subwana, worry, worry. Terms I'm not even used to talking about or saying, but. My art time looked at Subu. Or say in Tagalog that I love you. Mahakita. You know, being born in Cebu City, she's going to spend a lot of her years here in Kentucky, potentially, and I don't want her having an identity crisis when she's older, never quite feeling sure where she belongs. That's a real issue for kids, especially mixed race kids. You know, I grew up in Kentucky. There's no doubt I grew up in Kentucky. I knew everything about Kentucky. I feel like I'm Kentucky. Basketball. <laughs> I know all about it. I can talk about it. I know all the history here, so to speak. If she goes back and forth, she may not know how to feel. She's going to have a different accent when she's in the Philippines. When she's in Kentucky, she's going to look different. Yes, the only way for me to enjoy the heat is this camera. So have fun filming myself and my daughter. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You look at here at the camera. See this lens? You see this small circle there? Hi. That's where you look at. Hi. Are you, what happened? Are you hot? Yeah, yeah it's time to get in a car now. Let's go. But it's, too it's hot. a real car. Uh, no, this is not a real car. This is just a toy car. You know, there's a lot of pressure on a kid, especially, I, she's still a kid when she's 18 in my eyes. She'll be a kid until she's in her 20s. She might be mature for a kid, but she's still a kid. That brain's still developing. You really want them to feel comfortable in life, knowing where they belong. You don't want them stuck between two places and not knowing where they fit in. That could be a real issue for kids. You know, you got a couple friends in one location, you're gonna probably feel more safe somewhere just because of a friend or two. Well, I could make sure she had a friend in either place. You know, that's not really the answer though, is to make sure she had a friend because friends come and go a lot of times for most people. My childhood friends, I had some great ones, man. We had some basketball rivalries for 15 straight years. Hide and seek at night, kick the can, tag. I um, mean, just night games. I lived on a great little street growing up as a kid. You know, all the games we played, I probably had a group of 15, 20 kids I played with on a regular basis. And a, who knows how many came over to the house to play basketball growing up. I had a good childhood as far as playtime. What? Like that. You yeah, see? There you go. All right. Now go back. Get on it. Go over. All right. Bouncing back and forth between countries can sound like an adventure and fun. And in ways you've got to do it. Like, that burden's on me. I got to hope for the best for her. Let the family know we think about them and stuff like that. And obviously you, you can prove it by coming through these hard trips because there's nothing about going to the Philippines easy at all anymore. 
The prices are ridiculous just to get there. Travel is just one of the worst experiences ever. There's just nothing enjoyable about traveling anymore. If you're doing a short trip, a couple hours, two, three hours, it's probably manageable. These international flights across the world, I mean, honestly, there's a couple times a year I wouldn't care if they were free. I wouldn't want to do it. It is a lot of work. It's uncomfortable. It's just not a good experience. We'll leave it at that. Most people know. There's nothing about air travel, long distance, that they make it to be a good experience. People, personalities, the businesses themselves, who you fly with. You might get lucky and have a good experience with some good, good employees once in a while, but if you do it much, it's going to be an overall, probably not a very good experience. We are about to close the main cabin door. Pilot mode. Voice communication got to Billiron and Cabigayan. I mean, as the wife told me, not even many Filipinos know these islands sometimes. I've already kind of pre-made my decision. You know, we'll go over there for a little while. I don't really want to know this place. This isn't one of the names I hear much, so I'm not really thinking about it much. I don't really want to set in, settle in very long. I do want to see the family, of course, but you know, I want to get back to where I'm trying to learn and understand Dumaguete and you know that area in Negros but the more I think about it what's wrong with her island you got a city you got Naval you got Leyte you got other areas around it's not far I don't know there's a lot of things to consider in the Philippines and there's so many spots and I don't doubt many people all over think their spots the best I know it can get annoying when people say this place is the best and it's like yeah I know Filipinos probably get tired of it too because there's a lot of great places in the Philippines and you know if you find a great place to call home and you find your favorite spots and you got a few good friends in the area you're gonna feel pretty good about your spot you're gonna brag about it you're gonna feel like there ain't you can't ask for more you got friendships you got safety you got your little cozy whatever you call home and uh you found your budgets you made life work man if you can find that anywhere it's gonna be pretty good to call that home and billy Ren, it's a lot cheaper than dumaguete <laughs> a lot cheaper i get to play basketball if i live in billy Ren. I can do that in Dumaguete also, but I got family around in Billerin. I won't be a stranger. People will know why I'm there. Your name's going to travel a little bit. They're going to find out who you are. So it doesn't feel awkward to go start playing ball and hang out with people and do things. That's the fun part of you know the Philippines for me. It's like I never feel like an outsider anywhere. You know, if you did, you wouldn't go to the boulevard, run, do sprints, cause attention to yourself. You know, like that, just running around. You'd be low key. Just go jog, keep moving. Philippines, you just don't feel unwelcome. I see comments. I know there's people everywhere, but that's not the Philippines I know. The Philippines I know has always been very welcoming. I haven't had much of anything, bad attitude. I mean, you can't spend time in anywhere in the years and not have something. So it's not worth mentioning. You have to have something every once in a while. But Philippines has been an amazing adventure so far. It hasn't been fun. It hasn't been exciting. But the potential is everywhere. The potential is definitely there. It'll be work, stress, making sure Kiri has something to do. She's got somewhere to play. Don't want to be stuck in a hotel or a condo for two months and only take her to malls to play in the pay for play sections. You know, you got to find the parks. I think she's ready to hit the track with me finally. She's at that age where really it's just a matter of me trying to keep her motivated. How you coming out? Huh? Did you? Sorry. What? <laughs> It's in the camera. Oh, there you go. I didn't hear that. Remember the sound marker. Yeah, okay. That is just throwing. Billerin was really beautiful going there, I'll be honest. I could have got comfortable there if I had a nice 
place to stay. I did have a nice place to stay, but like something that was our own. Yeah, I could spend some time in Billerin, get to know it, hang out, spend more time with the family. That would be kind of fun. That would be exciting. That would be the first time I could be like, okay, that would be fun. If I had a place to, you know, put my head, it was, you know, my little spot, my little pillows, my little bed, my situation. Yeah, I could see going to visit family and staying over there for a good amount of time being fun. I know I get to play ball all the time. Uh, waterfalls everywhere, resorts on the water that were 250 pesos a day. Yeah, I mean, those things, that's the fun. Finding those little cheap paradises that don't cost a fortune. Getting to spend time with family while you do it all. I definitely don't need five star anything. Four star, don't need it. It might be all right, it ain't nothing against it, but don't need it. Ah, this camping mentality, you know, just have what you need, uh, I can do that. That's what's fun about the Philippines. You know, I see these guys on these low budget videos and you know a lot of guys attack them for well that ain't living well yeah it can be i can tell you right now it can be it may not be living to what you think is living but you find a place where all your stress is gone you sleep good you get good rest your food is good and it ain't costing you a small fortune to do it yeah you're doing something right and it feels good i don't care what those other people try to make you feel like Ben, you know there's, there's always somebody who wants you to feel bad for that budget for me personally i've already said it a couple times i'm more excited about building a 60 to eighty thousand dollar house if i can build it for that price we're going to see and that's the philippines that i care about just living and surviving and enjoying your day to day without it costing you a small fortune to do it those guys out there who found how found a way to do it they overcame the challenges they found a way to live on that thousand dollars a month and enjoy their lives i know you're winning <laughs> i know you are you know it might be a little more might be a little less but you enjoy your life now better than you had previously i know you're winning